Unter seiner gesegneten Hand ist nun über Deutschland eine Art von neuem Renaissance-Zeitalter. Before their acts of violence against people, the Nazis committed acts of violence against art. René Price is the director of New York's Neue Gallery, which is staging an exhibition called Degenerate Art, the attack on modern art in Nazi Germany, 1937. The interest and curiosity about this dark moment in German history is huge. It's this confrontation that has never been done before, of showing the art that was vilified by the Nazis on one side, and then to show the counter side, the, the official German art. And in the summer of 1937 in Munich, you could see both of them within a few yards of one another, and we've brought this aesthetic together again. The Nazis staged two art exhibitions side by side. On the one hand, what Hitler thought art should be. On the other, so-called degenerate art, confiscated from state museums. Olaf Peters curates the show. You have to consider the degenerate art show as a sort of counter image, what was not wanted in the Third Reich. What did degenerate art look like? In general, you can say it looks like modern art. The exhibition of modern or degenerate art drew over two million people in total and more than 20,000 per day. Some of the people entering the exhibition were saying farewell to modern culture, to modern artworks. Is it too simplistic to say that the Nazi-sanctioned art was bad and the degenerate art was good? For me it's really coming back to the question of what is the role of modern art to a society? The relative merits of degenerate and German art are made clear by setting them side by side. On the one hand, The Four Elements by Adolf Ziegler. On the other, Departure by Max Beckmann. Ziegler was even mocked for his style and also depicting uh, always with naked women. But still he was in favor of someone like Adolf Hitler who thought it worth to buy. Uh, on the other side, you really can see the starting point for these extremely rich and complex triptychs Beckmann produced until the end of his life. Beckmann left Germany the day the Degenerate Art Show opened and continued to paint in exile, including this self-portrait. Hanging nearby amongst the empty frames of works destroyed by the Nazis, a self-portrait by one of his contemporaries, Ernst Ludwig Kirchner, he made some telling modifications after the show. Notice the red swastika in the background, which is included as a pattern, but if, once you have seen it, notice that, you cannot avoid to see always the signal of the red swastika. Kirchner committed suicide the next year. We now look at Russia and China and Iran, and we question whether artists are free to express themselves in those societies. Is that an aim at all of this exhibition? Well, as we know, history repeats itself. And we are aware that what happened in the Third Reich in Germany is something that still happens to this day. And it's if you first start with the art, and then it's music and literature, and then it's ideas, uh, and then it's human beings.